144Hz monitor, 1080p, curve, 24 inches, HKC, 4MS response time, it got good viewing angle, not as good as IPS, pero not as bad as the TN panel, meron konting color shifting in terms of extreme angles, and 7,750 pesos only. Well, if you will be going at the same kind of routine in terms of uh, giving you feedback about monitors or reviews about monitors, I think this will just be a very identical review, if not the same, with the previous reviews that we have done before. So I think I have come up with an idea na medyo iibahin ko yung style. So it will be uh, going to this kind of setup na I will be giving you the five reasons why you should consider this monitor. So medyo iibahin na po natin mga kaibigan para hindi naman masyadong maging monotonous kasi uh, we have been doing this for a while now and uh, there are lots of monitors it's, uh, kumbaga, magkakasunod-sunod kasi mga kaibigan. So, if you want to know more about monitors or you want to know more about the reviews of previous monitors or something that I should discuss in here, you may just uh, view some of the reviews that we have done before. Marami tayong in-upload mga kaibigan. We have that with Envision, Gamdias, Spectre Pro, and other brands in the market na medyo kapareho if uh, not totally the same with this monitor that we have now. So, eto po ulit tayo ngayon mga kaibigan. Feel free to subscribe for more videos like this. Actually, we have here the ID Cooling Pink Flow. Yan po yung isusunod natin i-benchmark. And of course, the RTX 2070 Aorus versus the RTX 2070 Trio. So, yan po yung pag-uusapan natin sa mga susunod na araw mga kaibigan. So, before we will be jumping to those kind of reviews, eto muna ngayon, we have here the cheapest. Pero ang tanong, is it also a sulit monitor for a 1080p 144Hz curved 24 inches monitor. And the first reason mga kaibigan is this is the cheapest 144Hz 1080p curved VA panel 24 inches monitor released so far. In terms of introductory price, mga kaibigan, eto na po ang pinakamura na nai-release sa market. We have the Envision, we have the Gamdias Spectre Pro, pero their price tag just dropped nung may mga lumalabas ng mga competitors. Pero with the HKC, they just dropped their products and directly put the price tag at a 7,750. So, kung titinan niyo mo yung market ngayon, eto na po ang pinakamura. And then for the second reason, there's no missing features with their previous lineup. So what HKC did in here is they have released a new monitor in the market with new model at a 7,750 with all of the bunch of features that they have with their previous models at a price tag of 10,000. If you remember mga kaibigan, ViewSonic, BenQ, yan po yung mga isa sa mga brands way back 3 years ago or 2 years ago na may price tag ng 14,000 to 15,000. If there is any brand that is competing in the market for a budget gaming monitor, it is HKC. And they have these monitors at a price tag of 10,000 pesos more or less. Yan po yung mga naging pricing nila nun. And uh, not to hurt the previous customers na bumili na ng HKC, what they did is they didn't release the product with the same model at a lower price tag. What they did in here is they released a new model with the same features, overdrive, curve, 144Hz, 4MS response time, pwede mo pa siyang i-wall mount, it is a VESA mount compatible at a price tag of 7,750. Kasi if we will be looking at the bigger picture of this, it is like HKC is the one who adjusted para lang may deliver yung pinaka best price para sa inyo mga kaibigan. And yes, before I forget, it comes with a new look of uh, always the Borons. So naka joystick na rin siya. So dun pa lang, sabay na sabay na talaga siya sa mga modern designs ng mga new monitors nowadays. And third is, this is the perfect monitor that you may consider for worth 30k and below builds. 
Kasi ang ibig ko kong sabihin lang dito mga kaibigan, if you are now going for a build, maging budget man yan or high-end man yan, kailangan mo nang mag 144Hz. And uh, going for a 60Hz monitor, like uh, you went for a budget uh, system build, then sasabihin mo rin, ah, mag-budget monitor din ako, so eto worth 5.5, 60Hz. Well, hindi magiging uh, maganda, hindi magiging kompleto yung experience mo kaibigan for just having a 1080p and a 60Hz. Going for a 144Hz, 1080p monitor is still the go-to monitor kahit gaano pa kamura ang build natin. Kasi, sabi ko nga kanina, the time has evolved. It is a golden era for VR games. Now, if you will be telling me naman na, paano kung 40k build ako or 50k build? Then, if you have that kind of build, you may also consider this. But if you can uh, afford to have a better monitor like uh, worth uh, 8k, 9k, 10k, or 15k monitor, then it is better. Pero, yun mga kaibigan, I'm telling na, eto po is recommended for 30k. I'm not telling na it's not recommended for 40k and 50k. It's still a monitor that you may consider. Lalo lalo na kung medyo tight talaga yung budget natin, then this is the go-to monitor. Pero uh, for those guys who can afford to have a 40k or 50k, maybe going for a better monitor or a higher price tag monitor with better features is I think the best choice that you may have. And then the fourth mga kaibigan is a perfect monitor for internet cafe. Why? Besides it's the cheapest, because business is business, it should be low investment, high return. So you need to give the best offer for your customers, pero dapat hindi mabubutasan naman yung bulsa natin kasi nga uh, may kamahalan talaga. 144Hz is really very big investment for an internet cafe owner. And to lessen that kind of uh, big investment or kumbaga huge amount of money para lang sa monitor, going for this uh, HKC model is I think the best option that you may consider. Kasi nga 7,750 lang siya. Plus, you cannot adjust this stand. So the height cannot be adjusted. You can uh, just tilt it pero hindi mo siya masusivel. And that is a major concern na kung ganyan pa ang monitor mo, adjustable yung height, pwede mo siyang swivel, pwede mo siyang tilt Well, this can be tilt, pero hindi mo mo siya pwedeng swivel. Medyo mas mapapadali yung buhay ng monitor natin. Because we should always remember, mga kaibigan, that our customers is magkakaiba po ang height. And if they've discovered na adjustable height yung monitor mo, automatically, bawat uupo ngayon ng customer mo, iibababa yan, iaangat yan, ibababa yan. With a lot of computers in the room, automatically, hindi mo lahat yun mamomonitor, mga kaibigan. And paano kung bata, paano kung walang ka-idea-idea, basta lang baba, angat, ganyan. So, of course, highly likely, yung monitor mo, sira na after maybe 6 months or not even 1 year, sira na kagad yung monitor mo. Eh, paano kung hindi mo pa nababawi yung puhunan? Eh, talo ka ngayon. And then last, this is not just a monitor. It is HKC. Well, medyo mapapaangat yung uh, kilay natin ngayon mga kaibigan. Bakit? Why? What's with HKC that makes it significant to be a big reason for us to buy this monitor? HKC, as I have said in my previous videos, They've been in the market in different eras. So, kumbaga, nung mga panahon na ito yung mga sikat na mga brands, HKC is there. They are not the leading brand. They are not the number one choice. Pero in terms of budget gaming monitors, they are there in terms of conversation. Now, dumating yung panahon ngayon, mga kaibigan, na bunch of uh, gaming monitor brands is now in the market. Nandito pa rin si HKC. And with that kind of experience as an advantage in terms of monitor panels or pagmamanufacture ng monitor, since they are also involved in some uh, panels that is uh, distributed for uh, MSI and uh, BenQ or any other brands in the market, that gives HKC a big portfolio in terms of uh, peace of mind na ito is durable, na ito is... Uh, It will last long. So, ibig sabihin lang nun mga kaibigan, in terms of longevity and durability, that portfolio is big enough 
for us to have a peace of mind considering this new model of HKC. Pero since this is just an electronic product, of course, meron din siyang cons. So as I can see, uh, medyo binago nila yung stand. It is made of plastic. Uh, it's not the usual na medyo metallic yung uh, mga stand or yung foot ng uh, mismong monitor. And uh, with this, na made of plastic, parang uh, medyo mapapa kunot no ka na baka naman biglang bibigay yan, mababasag lang yung monitor. Pero when I inspected, dun naman sa bottom side niya is a metal plate naman. And uh, based on my experience with a lot of monitors made of plastic, hindi naman ganun kadaling masira. Besides this uh, plastic naman na ganamit is eh, hindi naman siya flimsy. And uh, when I try to uh, shake the uh, table, hindi naman madaling mag-wiggle yung monitor. So I think uh, this stand is uh, good enough or durable enough to support this 24 inches 1080p monitor. And then the second is uh, the common issue for VA panel monitors. Uh, medyo wash out siya compared sa competitors. Pero for a VA panel monitors, that is just a minor issue for me. Since in gaming, what is important is it should have that good refresh rate and decent response time. And for this, having a 4ms response time better than those previous lineup at 5 or 8ms, I think it's a big step up for HKC. That's it mga kaibigan, feel free to subscribe and of course feel free to comment down below para sa mga things na medyo na miss natin. I know there are a lot of uh, information that I have missed but uh, for the uh, top 5 reasons why you should consider this, I think I have discussed enough naman na to know about this uh, new model of HKC. Kasi kung uulitin ko lang po yung mga features and discuss all of those uh, things that I have discussed with the previous monitors before, uh, medyo magiging monotonous lang mga kaibigan. Besides, it is just the same features with the previous higher price tag uh, monitor before at a 7,750. 3,000, almost 3,000 na po yung natipid natin mga kaibigan. So that one alone will just be a big enough for us to consider why you should buy this new monitor from HKC.